Hi guys, Betty Horn here. Um, I am singing a request, uh, and it's interesting because I was going to sing this one anyway, because um, as many of you know, I live in Bra Bradenton, Florida, and we're facing a hurricane. Um, I don't believe it will hit us, that's my own personal opinion, but uh, we will be affected by it. And I'm asking for your prayers that uh, the top will shear off and it won't have nearly the effect that it could have on any of us here living in Florida and beyond. Um, it has the possibility of becoming a Category 4, which is the second highest uh, category there is. And it could be a lot of storm surge and a lot of flooding. And so we're just praying that we won't have the effects from it that could happen if in a worst case scenario. And this hymn that I'm going to sing, I want to tell you a little history behind it before I sing it. Um, the woman who wrote this had struggled for 20 years with her daughter who was suffering from bulimia. Uh, no, not bulimia, anorexia. And uh, I can't imagine the fear that she lived through every day wondering if her daughter was even going to survive the day. But this was her answer. And the hymn is Where Can I Turn for Peace? And it was requested by Loaded Goat Acrylics. Where can I turn for peace? Where is my solace? When other sources cease to make me whole, when with a wounded heart anger or malice, I draw myself up. Searching my soul Where when my aching grows Where when I languish Where in my need to know Where can I run where is the quiet hand to calm my anguish? Who, who can understand? He only one. He answers privately. Reaches my reaching in my Gethsemane, Savior and friend. Gentle the peace he finds for my peace. Constant he is and kind, love without end. I have a testimony of this song. There were many years when I couldn't sing it without crying because it touched my heart so deeply. 
he knows the anguish that I felt at the deaths of my boys. He knows the anguish that I felt at failed marriages, at abuse and neglect and all the things I've had to face in my life. He's been there with me every step of the way. He carries me when I need to be carried because I can't take another step on my own. I know that my Savior Jesus Christ lives and I leave my testimony with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.